In Luke chapter 6, verse 27, the Bible says, But I say to you who hear, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you. So that's a pretty tall order for anyone who's ever had an enemy. For, and I'm talking about people who really, really don't like you. People who actually hate you. And he said to do good to them. And I'm going to give you a quick story of how that has worked in my favor a long time ago, back when I was working uh, in corporate America. I was in mid-level management at a bank uh, a long time ago. And the very, very long story that is short now is that um, I was given an ultimatum. The, the new director that was coming in had... Um, the same position that I was applying for, he, they hired him instead. And he found out that I was a pastor, and a bivocational pastor, and then uh, gave me an ultimatum basically stating that I needed to sign a piece of paper saying that I would never put my uh, position as a pastor above uh, my position at the bank. I have no idea why he wanted me to sign something like that. Actually, I do have some I have an idea why he wanted to push me out. He knew exactly uh, how I would respond, and uh, I responded by quitting. So um, I could have gone to HR. Actually, I did kind of go to HR. HR didn't want to do anything with it. Um, he was a high-level individual and didn't want to touch it. As a matter of fact, uh, the day that I left, the HR director was crying uh, because we established a friendship of, through the years that I'd been working there. So what was I to do? You know, I had the email. I'm like, this has got to be illegal. But I'm not one to take people to court, so you know, uh, not over something like that. So I, I I practiced what I preached, and I prayed for the guy, and that was not easy because I did not want to pray for the guy. And what I wanted to do is um, give him some choice words. So what I wanted to do is retaliate. What I wanted to do is to try to uh, sue him and things like that. Well, I, I didn't, and 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 it hurt me bad. I mean, when I be and not not I'm talking about just in you know in my heart, but it hurt me in my wallet. Um, it took a long time for me to find another job. Um, I, uh, at that time, I had a surgery here on my face. Um, I didn't have insurance to cover any of that. Um, I nearly lost my house. I mean, you know, just a lot of bad happened during that time. Um, but God is good, and I prayed for him. Even when things were going bad, I prayed for him. And here's the outcome of that. God blessed me way more after that, uh, after the, 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 the fact of, the, of, of leaving that bank and moving on with my life. Um, I started a business, and God blessed that business, and it was just absolutely amazing, and it's been absolutely amazing. It's something that I would have never done had I stayed at the bank, right? So, you know, I nearly lost everything, and instead I gained uh, afterwards, and the Lord took care of everything and taught me more about faith um, than anything else. So, uh, and hmm, maybe I, I'm not saying that I uh, am so happy about this, but um, it didn't turn out well for that guy. He's no longer there, and yeah, he ended up messing around with one of his employees, and um, it ended up costing him his career. So, yeah, that's how it ended. But uh, anyway, so pray for your enemies. And, and you know, I, I legitimately pray that the Lord would um, work on his life and uh, that, that he would uh, change his ways and things like that. And, well, what happened, happened. So I hope you take this for right now. You have enemies. You have people who, who hate you. Well, pray for them. You'll see how far that gets you. Pretty far.